Hi guys, welcome to this urgent flight controller therapy update. In the iNav Fixwing group, we've actually found a glitch, not to do with iNav, but actually to do with free sky receivers. So you may want to watch this video no matter what flight controller you're using, as this might save you a lot of issues in the future. So let's crack on and we'll explain everything. Right, so what is this bug? Well, let's start from how it was discovered. So someone posted in the group um, some DVR footage of them having an issue and disarming in flight. Now, usually we might think, oh, they've accidentally flicked the switch, but it was a bit strange because there were some RC link loss, and then when it came back, it was disarmed. And then um, Steve, the guy who actually runs the, the group, said, hang on, that happened to me. Um, it needs a bit more investigation. So this all happened yesterday. Luke um, initially had a look at some, uh, Steve's logs. And then when Mark got home from work, he had a look as well. And he picked up that in, in Steve's OSD that the OSD actually changed during the RC link loss. When it came back, the OSD actually switched, and this provided a clue as to what was going on. So what I can do now is we'll switch over to the desktop, and what I'll do is I'll show you what's happening. So this here is um, a log I've literally made this morning. Uh, this is a FreeSky RXSR. Just to, just to make a note, this is happening on Access, ACCST version 1, ACCST version 2, SBUS and F port. So basically anything. It includes R9 and 2.4. So let's let's get back to the spreadsheet. So what you see here, this column is the RSSI. We're just using this as an indicator to see roughly when the signal is going and coming back. And these values here are what we're getting for the RC channels. So what you can see is we're at 988 because this is currently in a fail safe. We have no signal, it's lost. And when it comes back, you'll see that all the channels go back to what they were originally. So this this row here, I can't actually, there we go. So this row here is absolutely what we're expecting to see. So channel zero, which would be the ailerons, is at 1498, channel one, which is the elevator is 1500. So channel two is 1501, channel three. And this yellow channel is my arming channel. Now this, this is where the problem occurs for some people. If you notice my arming channel, when it's normal, is actually in the low position. So I would never get the bug or, or the, the disarm due to RX loss bug. I'd still get potentially glitches on other fake channels, so I could potentially see my OSD flicking backwards and forwards, I could see flight modes changing, but it would never disarm. So what I'm going to do is show you how we can set this up um, later in the video. So even if you do experience the glitch, you won't ever disarm accidentally in flight because of the glitch. But anyway, so this, this here is what we're wanting to see. When the RC link comes back, all the channels go back to their previous value, no problem whatsoever. You see the RSSI is actually delayed a bit, but don't worry about that. So what we're going to do now is go up, and it's a fairly long way. So you can see here, when the RSSI goes, it's actually gone before we lose the, R the RC link. There's a, there's a bit of a delay. So what we're going to do now is go to the previous loss, which is here. Now what you'll see, the, the the blocks marked in red are actually where the glitch is occurring. So we know that the link is back here because we have some values returned to normal. But we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So half of the channels have actually still not returned back to normal. And these, these are at uh, 10 millisecond intervals. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's 80 milliseconds. So what we're getting is for 
we'll get half our channels correct for 80 milliseconds and then the other half will come back after and that's where the glitch occurs if this happens on your arming channel at this point here your flight controller thinks the rc link is back so what it will do is the failsafe flag will disappear and you'll actually get control back but if your arming channel is one of these glitches and your arming channel is set high to be armed it will think that the channel is low and disarm so that's why we're getting the um we're getting the disarm after a, a, an RC link loss. I'm just trying to go back because I have got another one somewhere. It'd be a bit hard. To, oh, there we go. There we go. So we, we have another block and it's different channels. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this time it's only six channels out of. So it's, it's not as if it even seems to be divided. If it's eight channels, it's in uh, one block that's being sent. And if it's 16, it's in two. So, I mean, I, I guess the arming channel could be a glitch. Yeah, the only other one that could potentially be glitching is the arming channel, but then that would still make seven. But anyway, you can see based on this spreadsheet what is happening with the glitch. And what I'm going to do now is show you how you can make sure that it won't disarm. It may still have other problems and the iNav developers are putting in a solution. But in the meantime, if you want to feel safe that it won't disarm accidentally, I'll show you how we can do that. Just to make it 100% clear, this is not an iNav bug. This could happen on any flight controller with an arm switch using a free sky receiver. If they don't know that this happens and haven't already put in a, a delay basically basically what what the iNav developers are looking to do is when the link comes back they're going to put in a hundred millisecond delay which will take it to about here and all the issues will you know all the glitches will be have sorted themselves out i'm also going to pass all this information onto free sky so hopefully they will have a solution for it as well so it, if any other flight controllers are affected and they haven't got a fix it will cover them so what I'm going to do now, we'll head over to iNav and I'll show you exactly what's going on and how we can sort it out. Right, so as I've already mentioned, I wouldn't ever see the disarm bug. And there's a very simple reason for that. It's because of the way I have my arm switch set up. So in this position, it's disarmed. In this position, it's armed. And that is sending the right data through to iNav and I'll show you exactly what we need in iNav. So I'm just connecting up and what I'm going to do is go to the, the modes page. So what you'll see is in the disarm position, it's up this end near the 2000 and in the arm position, it's down this end at 988, which is the value that the transmitter or the receiver is putting out when the glitch occurs. So, so long as our arming position we're armed at this point here we won't see that bug so it you know it could be that could be anything but i know some of you like to have your throttle or your arming switch the opposite way around and if you just reverse it on here then it's going to be the opposite way around on this page so what we can do is actually invert the input and then it will still function the same way around on the output. All right, so what we need to do is we'll go into the model menu. Oh, sorry, straighten up a bit. And we're going to go through to our inputs. Now, at the moment, there's no input for arming, but we're just going to create one. We're just going to choose the source as our arming switch. And what we're going to do is invert the weight. Uh, there's no shortcut on this, is there? There we go. So what we want eventually is for towards us to be armed and away from us to be disarmed. But if I go back to, or if we look at the desktop as well, 
what you'll see at the moment is it's still backwards. So I'm away from me, it's like saying armed. Towards me is disarmed. That's because we haven't actually changed the mixer yet. So what we can do is instead of using this switch for the arm, what we're going to do is change it to the input. So now if I'm away from me, I'm disarmed. And if I'm towards me, I'm armed. So there we go. Towards me is armed, away is disarmed. So that way, if you just want it reversed, you just reverse it back the weight back in the mixer or in the input, sorry. So if we reverse this back to 100%, it will now work the opposite way around. So towards is disarmed, away is armed. So that's a really simple way. If if you if you're one of these guys that likes to arm towards themselves, just set this up to minus one hundred, and then set up INAV so the arm position is here, and you'll be fine. If the glitch occurs, it will not disarm in flight. That's, that's all you need to do. I, I need to also just state that this does affect no pulses and hold exactly the same. Hold and no pulses are both absolutely fine. I personally use no pulses and I've not had an issue. So anyway, we're, we're hoping that there will be a proper fix for this bug very soon. Um, the, the INAV devs are aware of it. FreeSky are going to be aware of it today. I'm just compiling a nice document for them and then hopefully this will all be resolved properly and we won't need to to do this but this is a simple fix it'll make sure that anybody no matter which way around they prefer their arm switch can feel safe knowing that they won't act you know disarm because of this glitch so thank you guys for watching if you found the video useful i'd appreciate a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do so it really does mean a lot and helps me out Thank you guys for watching. Fly your models like you stole them, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.